Alrighty guys, what's going on? I just want to make a quick little video talking about the Dobbins Sierra Ultra Finesse uh, BFS rods. Um, because when I was purchasing these, I was very confused on the difference between the one power models and the zero power models. So I actually started with the 691 model because I'm a pri primarily a bass fisherman. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to throw like single hook swim baits, wacky rigs, stuff like that. And that's exactly what this rod does. So when I got this rod, I was kind of surprised actually at how relatively fast the action is. Now there's a nice little tip here, but it kind of shuts off quickly. As you can see, it does not bend quite as much as you get into the actual backbone here. So it's got about, I would say about 12 inches of really soft tip, but then it goes into a nice little backbone that you would expect from like a normal medium heavy rod. Um, obviously size down though. So this thing is great for uh, little Nico rigs with small little circle hooks, um, wacky rigs, uh, 2.8, three inch swim baits on like a one-aught like guppy head, something like that. This thing is like perfect for it. As far as like weight rating for lures you want to throw on this, I found a really hard time throwing, I've had a really hard time throwing lures that are I would say under four grams on this. And that could be because of my lack of ability. And also I'm not using the highest end BFS reel. This is the Corrado BFS. That's what I've been using on both of these. So again, take that into consideration. But for me, and I feel like for probably the average guy, under four grams was not quite ideal on this rod. But anything above that was perfect. You go five grams and up to about nine-ish grams for me was pretty sweet spot for this. Now, something else to keep in mind, this is not your treble hook bait. So if you're looking to get into those micro jerk baits, the micro crank baits, little inline spinners, little trout stream, stuff like that, this is not going to be the rod for it. Can you pull it off? Yes, you can. If you're going to throw like a five, six gram hard bait, you can, but you'll notice the rod doesn't quite load on fish the way you'd want it to for those size 14, 12, and size 10 hooks so it's serviceable but it's not its primary function or what it's designed for so if you want to go to more of a uh, trout stream uh, bluegill panfish all that kind of stuff you're going to want to step down to the zero power now the zero power that i got is the 650 the 650 so it's a six foot five zero power so not only is it down a power it's actually shorter as well now the difference between this rod, which I didn't understand until I got it, is not only is it shorter and it's down a power, the tip of the rod is solid carbon. Now that means that it's extremely limber up here. That's gonna help you with those really light lures, but that's not the only difference. That's the difference that everyone's been saying that I knew going into it, but the other difference is the actual action on the blank is a moderate action. It literally says it on the blank right here you have an actual moderate action. Let me put that right there. As opposed to the 691, the one power is a fast action. Just see how it says light, fast action. Fast action is more of what you're used to on like a traditional bass rod where you get that backbone, you get a little bit of tip, but it shuts off into a backbone quickly. A moderate action is something that is going to bend deeper into the blank. So as we go down here, now I don't want to, as we go down here, it's going to fold much further into your actual blank. As you can see, I'm right in the middle of this and it's still bending really easily. That's the, that's the butt of the rod right here. And look, we're still, I still have some limberness down here. I have limberness basically all the way down through. And along with that carbon tip, this thing is a completely different rod. You're not going to be throwing soft baits on this. If you're going to be throwing soft baits on this, it's going to be ultra light size two four and six jig heads on really really small swim baits i'll do that and it's fun but you're not going to want to throw like a 2.8 kitek on a 1 8 ounce head it's it's going to be it's going to be too much for this rod this rod is on the other side of the spectrum so now we're looking at a rod that is really going to excel with those micro cranks micro jerks um little tiny poppers walking baits stuff like that i actually got this rod because i wanted to target some more trout in little streams up in North Carolina and Georgia. And I had originally uh, brought my one power to those same streams 
and it did the job, but I noticed that I was just way overpowering those little trout on those little trout baits. I wanted to get something that was much more limber, a little bit shorter, and this rod is absolutely perfect. I could not be happier with those two. It's kind of like a nice one-two punch. As far as a lure rating for this lighter rod, I would kind of max out at around six and a half grams. It seems to be like a sweet spot for like the top end. And you can go all the way down to, I am able to flick a little cicada lure that weighs about one and a half grams. Now that's not a good time casting that bait, but I can cast it. I would say probably a more conservative um, estimate would be top end six and a half grams, bottom end maybe two grams, two and a half grams. So it's still not your ultra, ultra, ultra BFS that some people are used to with like your dedicated trout fishing. But for someone like me who wants to dabble in trout fishing every now and again, but is primarily fishing bass and just small ponds, this rod has been so much fun because I can just throw those little five, six, four gram little jerk baits, crank baits, inline spinners, those little micro poppers. And it's just so much fun. The rod just loads all the way down into the blank, much better than the other rod. But I would say the other rod is much more practical. So if you are someone who is looking for a BFS rod that is going to serve you, if you're like a tournament guy, if you are strictly fishing for large bass and you just don't want to use a spinning rod. So if you're trying to replace spinning rod techniques and you just want to have a bait caster, I would actually recommend the one power. Uh, so they have like a six foot nine one power, a seven foot one power, and I believe that's it actually. So I'd recommend one of those guys, um, just because it's much more versatile with your normal bass techniques that you're used to, swim baits, worms, uh, plastics, stuff like that. Um, but if you wanna get into a little bit more multi-species stuff, if you wanna have a little bit more of a fight on your hands, the zero powers are a ton of fun because of that solid carbon tip, again, to cast ultralight lures, as well as the moderate action throughout the blank to handle more of like a crankbait and a treble hook style bait. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys are in between uh, the two models like I was for a while, I hope this gives you some clarity on it. Honestly, there's not a right or a wrong. It's really just what are you going to use it for? If you have any other questions about the two rods, please leave a comment down in the comment section and I will get right back to you with hopefully an answer for you. If you guys have any other video ideas that you would like similar to this, please let me know and I will see you guys in the next one.